um, Rudin Klaff uh, and Remman were the first missionaries in, in uh, East Africa, actually, not only in Kenya. And um, this site, Rabai, is credited as the credo of uh, education in East Africa and also uh, Christianity. This is where it all began. This is where um, uh, people started to, to learn. This is where people started to believe in, uh, in God and Jesus Christ as a savior. And um, we, as the National Museums of Kenya, have been partnering with the um, Anglican Church of Kenya to rehabilitate this site, to make it uh, um, uh, conducive for pilgrimage. We would want, as, a, as an institution, for people to make pilgrimage to this site, uh, uh, to be the, the place where uh, Christianity all began. This project has been funded by um, the German Embassy in Kenya uh, through a grant of about uh, 6.9 million and we also put in another 2 million uh, from the National Museums of Kenya uh, to rehabilitate this site. And basically what it will in entail will um, to look at, we are, we are creating um, a social hall uh, where community around can come and hold their functions um, and also um, uh, meetings that can be held here. We are also creating um, a digital library here, um, a library where we'll have books, we have computers and, and a digital library so that uh, people can, uh, can be able to come and enjoy and learn uh, new technologies. Uh, we are doing this, of course, uh, during this time, and it's, it's only that we didn't know that COVID was uh, uh, coming. But uh, because of COVID, you can see now the world uh, can only survive uh, through technology. Uh, the, and, I, and we are very happy as an institution that we have been able to rehabilitate this site, uh, which is very, very important in the annals of the history of Kenya and also East Africa. Uh, as a nation, uh, we have come to uh, redo uh, this history, uh, which is very important. And I, and I would want to encourage um, all the Christian community in Kenya and East Africa to make a visit here and see how it was and hear the stories, uh, uh, real stories of, of how it was here. Uh, you know that this area was also... Um, uh, there was a lot of slave trade uh, going on in this part of the world. You hear stories about uh, how this uh, community was trying to rehabilitate uh, some of the slaves that were freed uh, in the high seas here, uh, and also to hear uh, how um, the community in Kilifi, uh, because of the persecution of these uh, uh, missionaries uh, along uh, around Mombasa, they were able to move inland and find a, a good place for them to, uh, to be able to establish a mission and going on. So if Muslims uh, make their way to Mecca to, to see where, uh, uh, Christian, where uh, Islam began, I don't see the reason why uh, Kenyans who are of a Christian faith do not make a trip to Rabai to see where it all began. Um, clearly, we go to Jerusalem, we go to Bethlehem. Uh, at the birth uh, place of uh, uh, Jesus Christ. I would say that before you go to Israel, uh, you must. Uh, I would want you to come and make a trip to Rabbi and and see where it all began. I am actually amazed by by, by the many stories and traditions and people uh, remembrances of of uh, what happened here. And uh, we really want to be very grateful to the Anglican Church for allowing us to rehabilitate this uh, uh, this um, uh, uh, facility, this monument. I would also want to ask uh, the Kenya Railway, for example, to make an, a stop uh, of the SGR uh, near here uh, at Karoleni so that uh, people can be able to disembark and come and view this uh, important heritage of, of this country and then continue with their trip to Mombasa and also buses uh, that are coming. So the next phase that we are looking at, uh, at this site is uh, pr uh, preparing of uh, parking areas because we believe that with this the rehabilitation we will have to have many visitors coming here uh, to see where uh, uh, education started, where Christianity started. This was the place of the first Swahili dictionary. This is where it was, uh, it was uh, codified before, before anything else. So um, if you are not here, you are missing a lot as a Kenyan. Rabai ni jina mbalo la julikana katika Kenya nzima. Kwa shauri hapa ndiyo mtu wa kwanza, mzungu wa kwanza kuja kueneza ilimu na ni Dr. Kraft. Kwa hivyo tunasherekea siku ya leo kwamba serikali ya Germany ikishirikiana na na Museum of Kenya wamefanya wamefanya mambo mazuri 
wamerekebishia jengo lile ambalo lilikuwa ni la rafla zamani ambalo lilikuwa limewachwa na sasa limekuwa kama jipya kabisa tuna furaha sana hasa kwa serikali ya Ujerumani na watu wa mizi ya mafikinya kwa shauri wametengenezea na katika senta hii sasa kutakuwa na mambo mengi mazuri kwa vijana wa hapa nyumbani kutakuwa na mambo ya ya, ya kompyuta kutakuwa na holi ingine ile ambayo kama mtu yuko na shere yake yote anaweza kuja kufanza kama kuna meetings hapa tutakuwa tumeekewa kila kitu sawa sawa kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana na tunatoa santa zetu haswa kwa bwana Kibunja ambaye ni DG wa Museum of Kenya pamoja na, na watu wake wote wale wa, wa hapa Mombasa na kule Nairobi tumetezewa sana na kazi yao waliofanya kwa hivyo tunamwombea Mungu bwana Kibunja pamoja na timu yake yote kuwa sasa isiwe mwisho lakini tuna tunatarajia mambo mazuri zaidi mbele na mbele yatakuja. Kwa hiyo machache na washukuru sana kwa kuja kwenu na Mungu awabariki.
my being a poor just a friend of the Why? Because this is a victim of the Bombay Africans, Jopenta. He did the reason to go school. So, and this is the, I mean, the, 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 the picture of the Zahaj, meaning. It's strong, but it's very strong. Sure. I've been going here, Jan. Now, after baptism, it's what it was, it was called where they are coming from. So they settled here, and the others they settled that they are told Mombasa.